Okay, a new paper released by the University of the West of England has uncovered that women are as likely to find Mr. Average as attractive as a muscular male model. It noted that those who took part in the study had suspicions that those with model-style model bodies might be gay or simply too vain. It went on to suggest that many people prefer to go for those partners whose looks don't intimidate them. But do, this survey, which was written by men, um, <laughs> do, do, we, do you believe in the whole concept of, of leagues, you know, when it comes to looks? Well, I would have liked to think that it doesn't matter, but I think it really does. I mean, I would never, ever go after somebody like David Beckham. Because, because well, he's I'm married. Old. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. But I know he's out of my league. But somebody like that, you would go for a one-night stand to think, oh, God, if I could just have one night with that, I won't mind, you know. <laughs> uh, but you know you couldn't carry on. Well, I, I personally couldn't. And when I first met my partner now, he was a, a, a big pop star, and I was a barmaid. And I, I just knew in his rock and roll lifestyle that I would not be able to keep up with that. And I left and let him get on with his life for a while. I'm glad that we've come back together now, but he was way out of my league mm. in, in the early days. But was that to do with his lifestyle or did you think that he was too good looking for you? What, what league both. are you talking about? A bit of both. He was absolutely beautiful. I mean, he's lovely now, but he's, he was stunningly beautiful. Um, and I just thought, I can't compete with that. And, and the girls used to throw themselves at him. Mm. And the boys, have to say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which, you know... Especially in them shorts. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he used to wear the little yeah, lycra shorts. Did, and yeah. the tie. He just wears the tie now. Does he? <laughs> Thing. I used to think everybody, well, I still do actually think everyone is out of my league. And as you know, I never, I've, I've never really chatted anybody up. And if I, if anyone chats me up or, you know, expresses an interest, I'm like, really? <laughs> so, you know, I don't actually, I, I'm not now. I mean, now I'm all right because I've got Mark. And actually, you know, if you, if some people might look at him and think, yeah, he's way out of her league because he's young and he's very handsome and he's, you know, he's really fit and he's big and he's got to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you really look very similar. I think you're absolutely yeah. suited. I think it's a perfect coupling. You both look very similar, we very do attractive look alike, couple. A little bit actually. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what I, I'm sorry, I, but you know, I think this is a bit silly, really, because people find that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and everybody finds their. And it might be Mr. Average, it might be Mr. Muscle. Yeah. I, I think I think it's very superficial. This. Well, it probably is, but I, I mean, when I was younger, I honestly, I, I had no, I couldn't see anything. It didn't matter how good looking they were, how amazingly rich they were, whatever. I would go for, I would go for anything, and I, honestly, <laughs> I would. As you, Do you as know you that's making know. all your past boyfriends feel very special? Well, <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I wanted someone, I would go after them yeah. and, and, and I would get them. I mean, not all the time, but I suppose, I don't know, as I got older, I suddenly thought, ooh, no. Do you think it's to league. do with confidence rather yeah, I do, than looks or chemistry? Because, you know, um, Steve is the most confident man I've ever met. Uh, he, he can bowl into, or you've all met him, bowl into a room, all right, darling, all right. And he, he can chat to anyone. It doesn't matter whether they're the Prime Minister or somebody emptying the bins. He will talk to everyone exactly the same and like everybody exactly the same. And most people like him for that. Yeah. In terms of... And, and when I met him, that's what I liked about him. But it wasn't how he looked doing or anything. It, isn't he? He's not got a league in mind. He's meeting people. No. I mean, I think the only time I felt intimidated... As an actor, really, the only thing that would ever... You know, put any actor off is not whether whether they're good looking, whether they're rich, whether is whether they're talented or not, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah. I remember uh, going out with a director for a bit who was incredibly intelligent, and I felt a bit out of. You know, I thought, oh, I couldn't keep this up for long because I'd have to start doing the crossword, and that would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, there's incompatibility, isn't there? Yeah. I, but, yes. I mean, the, the it, out of my league thing is is in the mind, and yeah. you know, if you mm. feel yes. confident with, you know, you can you can look at certain people and you just think, you know, there's absolutely no way because you know you'd have nothing in common with them but as you get older and you do get more confident you kind of think well you know anybody no one's out of your league no, and you long to say to somebody young who is led astray by the idea that if you're not beautiful or one of the i mean the last mm. people you actually want to go out with are those people that think that they're beautiful and everybody else should be beautiful around them they're very boring usually and got yeah. some terrible yeah. problem that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. okay